then to the small uh, steel tube walking stick there's a little bit of a um, pry bar head as you can see here and the benefit is that even though it's a very small pry bar because of the leverage you can gener generate with this um, steel tube you will of course ruin the steel tube but if needed you can pry a little bit better than with yeah, just a small amount of pry bar that's in there it also has a PVC pipe in it so that it doesn't shake as you can hear so it's very nice uh, detailed and this is just a little bit of bend because of course it's not nice and it's cool that you have direct contact with steel this is also very heavy uh, this is the heaviest walking stick as compared to all the others except this one which is not a walking stick as compared to all the others except this one which is not a walking stick this uh, might be the second heaviest this is a uh, yeah, just a more of a show-off gentleman type of uh, walking stick. Very elegant uh, tip, as you can see, and then it uh, tapers up a little bit. Also very nice uh, work on the handle. The benefits for such a design is that you can... Um, the other one you had to hold as a knob, huh? but this you can uh, like more of a pistol grip. So it's easier for the hand. You have some more positions you can position it in. And also the benefit is you can lean on top of it if needed so that's a benefit that you will also see with some of the other uh, walking sticks of similar design for example this one and you go again to uh, uh, aluminium this one is uh, a hollow design so you can just screw it off if you need it to, to be shorter or longer this is nice you have a little bit of concentration tip here if needed where you can um, break for example window but this is just a sturdy stick and also very good to lean upon because you have the flat area again and this is also a nice knob keeping in the hand the survival situation if you don't need shelter otherwise i told you i think the umbrella could be better this could be a very nice one it has some tools like for example the, the compass here also the window break at the other side and you can screw it open and then you will find for example a saw so if you need to saw something also it's lighter still than this one but the tip is not good for urban environment because it's far too pointy it's more of an off-road type of walking stick it could be very good also you see here a little bit of uh, damage to the paint you see the aluminium coming through so that's what it is but a very nice uh, walking stick it's also easy and you can collapse it in smaller parts and take it into a backpack if needed. You hear the saw, I think. And this walking stick, this is perfect if you need a, a walking stick for a situation that you, uh, you don't know if you need it, just for light work. Also very easy to collapse. This is weighing uh, almost nothing. This is by far the lightest walking stick and as I told you, very easy to put to a different size as you can see here for example just with this knob but you can also collapse it to an extremely small size so as i will show you here so it can be collapsed to about half the size that it originally had and then you can just get it back to the size that you need also for example if you take this with you if you have an injury you can still lean upon it but also use it for your children because you can easily make it to any um, size that you need but this is just your traditional